Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Final Show Films. I'm Sen, your executive producer. I want to thank you for tuning in. Particularly, I want to thank our Twitter dollar tier supporters over on our Patreon page at patreon.com slash fsfilms. Those being Jeremy Alexander, Samantha Bates, Cat Waterflame, and L. Without whom we won't be able to do you know, as much as what we do now. So thank you very much for your support over the years. Uh, and those of you that are watching live, please sit back, relax, and enjoy. And we're live. Uh, yes, I'm Sen. I'm the Keeper. Uh, for this Call of Cthulhu 7th edition game, The Vanishing County. Uh, I am joined by these lovely ephemeral creatures. Uh, one of us who's only about 75% here, Jack. Hi, I'm Jack, and I might disappear at any moment. Uh, one of us that's only about 50% here, Drevian. Who's muted. Drevian is muted. Hence, hence being only 50% here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Drevian, and I'm hopefully not going to disappear. Uh, the one of us who's only 25% here, Jeremy. Uh, hi, I'm Jeremy. Uh, I did disappear last week. We'll see how it goes this week. Um, uh, and I, I, I'm i I'm playing a person. Um, Virginia Reeds. Allegedly. But thank you, Virginia Reeds. Uh, and someone who's only about one percent at one percent here half the time, Craig. Have you guys seen this fog video with the figures in it? It is trending. Hashtag terrifying. Hi, I'm playing Lewis Lamprey, HR and current phone video enthusiast. <clears throat> and when last we left off, the agents of the Federal Bureau of Control. Uh, had just gotten into the town of Dorver in the mysterious Jade County, a county in Illinois that does not exist. They were dispatched from the branch office of the Federal Bureau of Control in Chicago uh, with orders to recon, to recon the AWE, or Altered World Event, determine what was causing it and if there is a way to stop it or if there is anything beneficial to be reaped from, reaped from it. Uh, and... To do so, they had to first arrive, which had them driving through a interesting association of fog, um, and now they have determined that they have an odd bumper sticker that seems to have odd effects under certain types of photography, uh, and a message on a billboard that is currently being cleaned off by the uh, county um, or uh, what what county or municipal. Main I said a thing so last week, and the words have left my brain because I do not have a brain that functions properly. Your brain is 0% here. I have a beautiful mind. Uh, <laughs> but uh, municipal... Don't leave off at the yeah. You got a beautiful mind. <laughs> yes, that's, that is what I was referencing, yes. Um, so I definitely established like six different times last week that what Katie really wanted once we got into the county was a map of the state that was from within the county and completely forgot about it when we went to buy maps. <laughs> so I think it's time for Katie to go back into the gas station and get a map of Illinois. Yeah, you go back in the gas station. There are road maps of Illinois available. Um, you get a you get a map of Illinois. You do you I, open it up to check it first, or do you just buy it straight out and then bring it outside? Uh, I'm just gonna buy it. Right. Once I buy it, I'll peek at it. I don't plan on thoroughly examining it right now, sure. but I will I, just glance at it in case anything stands out. Uh, I would like to go in with Katie. Sure. Uh, I, either one of you, while you're while you're buying this map and anything else you might decide to buy, Lewis, um, you can give me sanity roll. No, give me a constitution roll. Ooh. We the people. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
Five minutes. I barely success. made that. You, you hit it. Go ahead and mark. Uh, oh wait, no, it's not. A, not. A, not. A, it's an attribute, not a skill. All right. Hey. Yeah. I think I'd no. be happy to mark it. I mean, you can't. There's no. Th there's no place to mark it. Um, no. So you. Yeah. You. 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 You both go in. You are absolutely fine. Uh, Lillian and defy the rules. Use a dry erase marker to mark your screen where it yeah, is. Yes. You. You feel free to do that. Um, Lillian and Virginia, go ahead. I'll give me constitution rolls there. there. I don't fuck around. I'm using permanent marker. I was gonna say or well, permanent marker, but that could be problematic later. Um, there we go. There's the sharpie. Problem for later, me. That. That on, that's a problem that only affects you. So go do what you want. <laughs> to be fair, Sharpie comes off pretty easily with rubbing alcohol. Uh, Virginia Anyways, and Lillian give to... me constitution rolls. No. no. Okay. Uh, where is that? There it is. Not good, Bob. That's fine. Uh, so yeah, Kathleen and Lewis, you go in. You, the maps are available. You grab one and go to the counter. Unless there's something else, Lewis, you, either one of you wants to do. Ba outside by the car. Are there any other maps I established I wanted that I've forgotten about? I think that's the what only other one. map is in there? I'll just buy one of every map. Sure, they've got they've got a, like a, they've got like a world atlas map, and they've got. Uh, just because they they have a like, they have a little map set like a, like looks sort of like a brochure stamp. It's just map various types of maps. They've got uh, world map. Well, do they have brochures for map. local attractions? I I was gonna yeah. ask that. Uh, they have one I'll those, pick up one yeah. of each of those too. Yeah, for they, sure. They don't. Dorver doesn't have a brochure of local attractions, but it does have one of those like you know. Uh, it does have one of those um, like touristy, not not local sort attractions like, per se, but so like a I tourist guide. This person type. Yeah, like a, like a tourist guide. Like while you're while you're in Jade County, make sure you see his. You know, make sure you visit historic Lake Haven. The the I'm municipal state. See the yeah, etc. Um, Who, but who's out, behind the counter? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Out by the car. Out, out in the car. Uh, Virginia and Lillian. Both of you h hear the other's stomach rumble at the same time that yours does, as you both realize you're hungry. Hmm. Mm. All of Cthulhu, when when that is deeply suspicious. There's snacks I, at the convenience store. Come get something. Would it be out of line? And you obviously you could say, would it be out of line? Because I feel it will be very much within Ginny's character to just calmly like reach inside the uh, the 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 uh, her, her suit jacket and just pull out a granola bar. Give me a luck roll. Since you didn't specifically say you packed hey, snacks, give me a luck that roll. Is fair, that is fair. That is fair. 43, that's with a success. The, with the success, yeah, you absolutely can pull up. Can Just pull deadpan. <laughs> Unwrap. Crinkle, 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 crinkle. Lillian well, just looks over. You know, snacks it was would be a smart idea. You have to think ahead snack. in these things. <laughs> Noted for future endeavors. Uh, the, and then Lillian will head inside to buy a snack. Right now, that is like the number one skill that you've learned from being a field agent is always bring snacks. <laughs> That's not a bad one. In Call of Cthulhu, buying snacks could be deadly. Uh, so right? Lillian, uh, as, as the other two of you uh, walk out with your maps, Lillian's walking back in. Oh, no, no. I, I still had a thing oh, I wanted to do. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. If, if... I, I, who's behind the counter? Um, just seems like a guy. Uh, fairly, you know, human-looking human with skin-looking skin and hair-looking hair. Sounds uh, suspicious to me. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Welcome That's to the Quickie Mart. Start. Sorry, it's not a Quickie Mart anymore. Welcome to the Quick Trip. I can help you. Oh man, I trust me. I get it. We have changed back back home. We have changed names so many times. It is always you have to go around. You have to put the new stickers and uh, new prices on everything. What a headache! Am I right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hey, I wanted to ask you something. How's the weather been? He looks Kinda out weird, the window. Right? He looks out the window where it's like perfectly sunny. 
I mean, so he's pretty decent if you're into that. Yeah. I, you know, I saw saw the weirdest fog earlier. I'm going to show him the video that I've got still up on my phone and try to gauge his face for a reaction. Make a psychology roll. Okay. With a 50, you're able to determine as he's like sort of looking at the phone. This person lives one joint at a time. And you're between hits. Okay. But it's not like... (laughs) It doesn't seem like he's seeing the figures. No, he definitely. Anything. I mean, you're not seeing the figures anymore. No, no, no. I, I, I know that, yeah. but I, I just. No, I, no. He's just, he's see. just. There's some, there's some thick fog, dude. Yeah, Bang. yeah. I wish I was hitting some sick fog right now. Know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah. All right, buddy. You hang in there, okay? Well, yeah. All right. I mean, Lewis just kind of knocks with his knuckles on the edge of the counter. Gives him like finger guns, but without the thumb up, and then heads for the door. Then that might be the most um, uh, uh, succinct yet so clearly defines an image of somebody in my head description <laughs> I've ever heard. Which part? <laughs> that just the whole like 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 lives for lives from joint to joint. But it's currently between joints. And you're currently in your between hits, yeah. <laughs> yes. That that puts such a vivid image in my head of who this dude is. What one hundred percent, yeah. I I live to describe. Uh, <laughs> uh Lillian, you But now uh, we turn the tables, Sen, <laughs> and now you must describe to live. Welcome to my little game. When did I get this? A bomb oh, collar God. attached. I can. Okay, John Kramer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lillian, what 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 sort of snack would 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 what sort of fast food gas station snack would 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 uh, attract your particular sensibilities? Would it be something dry and crackery? Would it be one of the ever present heated meats? Uh, would it be some sort of preserved dessert or just a slushy? Num? Chess mix. Chex mix. Chex mix. All right. Yeah. So you go. You you go. You you, you get the the the, the Chex mix. Uh, it's just they're there. Pay for it. Go back out of the car. Start munching. Yep. All right. Give me a check s- mix is clearly the creation of an eldritch horror. Give me a sanity roll. <laughs> oh, hey. I forgot to fill that number in. Maybe now it won't give me a sick text. You don't know anything. That was a useless roll. There was no point to that. I just wanted you to roll it. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> just like, monster <laughs> welcome to call of cthulhu where darkest, like darkest just dungeon anyway. style just a darkest dungeon style like sanity effect rear up screen and it's like too many pretzels <laughs> a little salty um yeah that's the fun part of call of cthulhu is i can just ask for rolls yeah for no reason for no reason just cause um, so you're back at the car. You've got a handful of maps. You've acquainted yourself with one of the local stoners, uh, and a bag of Chex Mix. What you doing? Is someone putting gas in the car? Yeah, I feel like once I was done with my snack, with the girl bar, with the I would, I, I, I would be filling the car. Get the company card. Swipe. Yep. Pee pee. I'm going to stay hydrated with my um, uh, little uh, straw hose coming out of my backpack. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I'm sitting in the car with the door open so I could still talk to um, how did I forget characters already? Lois, Virginia, Lillian? Virginia! 
so I can talk to Virginia who's gasping the car too. Yep. And I'm like, um, so what are we going to do for the next two hours? Yeah, because uh, why so, the next two hours specifically? To to, to just well, because fill in it's my recap. Two hours until we meet with right Smith. Uh, we discussed last week, and we felt it would be best to wait to get a hotel room until after we talked to the Smith, in case there was any relevant information uh, that would affect that decision. Um. Basically, we only eliminated things to do with those two hours. We didn't come up with something to do with the two hours, as far as I remember. I would suggest that we do a drive around the town, get to know the place a little bit, get to know where the important spots are, um, see if we notice anything unusual beyond you know what we've seen. Uh, I mean, we've got two hours. Let's put it to good use. Sounds like a plan to me. Um, if anybody has strong driving. feelings about driving, they can, or I can keep driving. No, I think you're doing a great job, Kathleen. I, I just think maybe if we can get somewhere more out of prying eyes, maybe we could try taking off that bumper sticker. If I find a place, I'll pull over. I'm sure there's an alley somewhere or something. To that effect. Sounds good. All right. So All right. Scouting and potential uh, parking in a, a, a less obvious spot to tinker with a bumper sticker. Yep. I will pass the county map, um, the the map of uh, Dorver, is it? Uh, the Jade County. Yeah. Okay. I'll pat, which the Jade County map over to uh, whoever's in the passenger seat, um, so that if they see anything worth directing me towards, they can navigate. Yeah, and this is one of those. Um, otherwise, this, I'm just hmm? the the maps are they're they're road maps, so they are very very granularly detailed, but only really detailed roads. Um, so they're not going to have like sites or attractions or anything like that. Um, but they, but you can see that you've got basically the full extent of the, you know, the various cities of Jade County are represented in this map. It's one of those things where you sort of, you rearrange how you fold it and you can see a different city basically each time. And then there's a, there's a, there's a version of it where you can fold it around to see just the county itself. Um, the, the, the really complicated gas station maps that are like just fucking, they look like they're just fold over things, but then you open it out and there's 75 different pieces of paper. Right. Um, I'll also pass the um, little booklet of touristy attractions back to Lewis. Um, oh. So that between the two of them, if there's anything that needs, that I need directing towards, we've got both of them being reviewed. Real quick, uh -huh. a skate park. Well, what I'll have you do uh, is uh, let's go ahead and have Katie give me a drive auto check for cruising around. Um, and we're going to have anyone that's looking at maps uh, give me a either either a navigate or a library use, depend, uh, which will give you different information. Um, I crashed. <laughs> Wow. Oh my god, uh, no. you do. So with a 100, hang on. So anyone that's, that's looking at the maps, anyone that's looking at the maps can be either a library use, uh, just flat, or a, a or a navigate with a bonus die. Um, because uh, those will give you two different, those will give you two different bits of information. But Do, um, do the, do the brochures count as maps? Uh in this particular case, they do because they do have some geographical information. Um, this is just to get an idea of how much you're getting out of it. Uh, with the 100 on the drive auto roll, though, Kathleen, you get in the car, you turn it, you 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 you, you turn the key, it, uh, it revs, but doesn't start. And then it's, it's, it turns over, and then it stops. You just hear the spark plugs ticking. 
you click it, turn uh-huh. it off, turn it back on. It revs, it tries to rev again, then stops. And you hear the spark, plug, spark plugs ticking again. One more try. And then there's a pop. And you don't hear the spark plugs ticking anymore. I think we've got a problem. Sorry? Look up from the map. Um, is this... The the electrics the electrics in the car are dead. Where we might need a jump, maybe, hopefully. Is the car broken? Katie just gives you an awkward smile. What kind of car did you say you got, by the way? I thought it was like a sedan. No. Yeah, no, it was like a. That was a Ford Fusion, right? It was. It was yeah, it was a perfectly generic black sedan. Modern sedan, but. Yep. Which is probably why it's a problem, because it's a modern car. Huh. Well, you know what, Kathleen? That's okay. This stuff happens. It, maybe it's the area interfering with the electrics. Do you want to pop the hood and find out? I'll I'll pop the hood and look at it. Yeah. I'm I'm not expecting to know what I'm looking at, but what else am I gonna do? You know? Give me a mechanical repair check. Can I assist? I put my hands on my hips and stare at. The engine. That's an that's an engine right there. Um, and I nod to myself. Oh, I, I'm gonna spend a luck point on that. Okay. Yeah. No fair. Sorry, I didn't mean to make a yeah, luck. Yeah, you just, just yeah, you just I, reduce your luck by one. I um, I, I forgot to turn on edit. That's fair. Uh, yeah. So yeah, with the, with the, with a ten, yeah, you, you get out and stare. Like Kathleen gets out and looks at it, and just stares, pops the hood, stares at it. Lewis, you get out and stand next to her, stare at it. You're not sure what you're looking at, but I mean, those look like spark plugs. And so you just sort of reach over and just like reach over to wiggle one of them. Uh, and as you reach over to wiggle, the spark plug just comes out of its housing. Oh, uh, well, hey, Kathleen, I think I found the problem. This isn't supposed to do this. Yeah, I don't think the engine is supposed to come up. I don't think it's supposed to work like that. You know, I ordered a kit one time, and it did come in lots of pieces. But then I couldn't figure it out, and I moved on to something else. And I kind of feel like that's a lesson for all of us, that right now we should probably move on to something else. As you're looking at the spark plug, the only way you could possibly describe it is that the spark plug exploded. Do they do that normally? That's Katie. They, oh, they, they, I mean, they sort of do, but not, you know, in a more controlled way. You know, the whole internal combustion engine, it's not supposed to be sort of one single combustion like a bomb. And looking at the other, looking at the other spark plugs, it looks like all of the spark, like there, there are, there are four, I think. Yeah, four spark plugs in this engine. Uh, all of them seem to be busted going to take these i'm going to go around and lean my head into the car and say um y'all got your walking shoes on actually katie doesn't say y'all katie's from the north northerners i'm actually going to skate over to the um uh to the entrance to the uh the what is it? It's not a quickie mart. We've established that. It's a quick trip. Quick trip. It's a quick trip? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to skate over to the entrance of the quick trip and over the door, poke my head in, see if Smokey is uh, conscious at all. Um, He looks... He's still sitting behind the counter, but he is staring real hard at the hot, the preheated hot dogs that are rolling around on the, on the pseudo grills over there. <laughs> Like in a, I'm hungry and I'm going to eat one of those way, or in like a disassociating way. How has six one? How does the other? Uh, fair. I, I'm gonna it, as I poke my head in. I'm gonna go. Uh, hey boss, do you have any spark plugs? 
do just thumbs over his shoulder. Automotive. And yeah, there's like cool. there's a, like the on the basically if you ever if you've never been inside a quick trip, you walk in the quick trip. There's a counter right there in front of you, and on the left hand side there's food, and then on the right hand side behind the counter is where automotive and alcohol is. Um, definitely a good idea to put those right next right. to each other. Um, I mean, people that buy one tend to buy the other. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that that's not what happens. I'm just <laughs> commenting on. They know Lewis, their stereotype. Lewis, right? Lewis looks over his shoulder and just says, gives a thumbs up and says, hang on, I think I might have this. And uh, I will skate on inside and over to the automotive section. Can you give me a like, roll? I just murmur under my breath while I'm still looking at the map. $15 says he doesn't have this. I don't know. Deal. He's surprisingly competent sometimes. Uh, go ahead and give me a luck roll, Lewis. All right. L- Lillian in the backseat munching on checks. Hey. It's, like, it's like, sure, I, I would imagine $15. I'd, yep. I'd, I'd take that. All right. I'm just saying. Uh, Lillian, give me a I take luck the bet on well. Lewis's behalf. Okay. I, I think he's going to be fine. What was that, son? Give me a luck roll. L- a, luck, uh, a luck roll for Lillian. You realize as you're munching, there's no raisins in this mix. That sounds like a win to me. There's not supposed to be raisins in Chex Mix. Am I confusing it with Trail Mix? I probably am. Yes, yeah. you're confusing checks mixed with trail mix. So, so what? So, so what? Lillian make realizes. An upsetting thought. So, sorry. So, the other way around. Then there are raisins there in this checks mix. Raisins. <laughs> oh, oh. Like, Don't get me wrong. I like me some raisins, but oh, you look Lillian's, at, con- you... Lillian's confused as hell. But continues to just mock. Yes, of course. You look. You look back at the cover and realize it's not an X, but a C K S. <laughs> And not where you think. It's Chex, C H E X, M I C K apostrophe S. You're like, what the hell? It's really weird Chex off Mix. brand Chex Mix. Right. Uh, That's just upsetting. <laughs> right? But with the success on the luck roll for Lewis, uh, you do f- they do have uh, a, a small stock of spark plugs. Uh, actually, they have exactly four of the kind that you're looking for. Uh, the kind, of the kind that you have in your hand, at least. You, okay, you have at, oh, you have the you have this sudden perilous realization that there are multiple kinds of spark plugs. As you see the four that match the the ones that you're looking for, because they definitely have like designations. But these, but these do match. They do match. Okay, I will take those. I will put the other four into my backpack, the old ones, because um, I want to keep those as evidence of potentially stuff that's going on here. Uh-huh. Uh, and I will head up to the counter um, and say, "Hey, boss, you are not going to believe this. <laughs> Wait, we just had a real spark plug situation outside." Uh, but hey, you are a lifesaver. So thank you, man. Want to want to let you know I appreciate you. I would like to have these, please. No problem, bro. You know, Does Lewis smoke, or has Lewis ever smoked? Never ever. Well, mm-hmm. clothes in college. <laughs> I mean, who didn't? Me. Me in real life, I never did. <laughs> but Lewis did. I barely went to college, so. Okay. Whatever. I don't have to be specific because it's called Cthulhu. Whatever brand of clothes that you did smoke in college, you do see behind him as he's ringing up your spark plugs. And you've never had this feeling before, but you suddenly feel like you need a smoke. Sam Puernas. I will take you at your word. All right, yeah. Um, can I try to evaluate that feeling sure. of this search for a and I believe non-addictive substance? Yeah. I don't know. If, I, I have no idea how addictive closed cigarettes are. They have tobacco in them, so I assume they are somewhat addictive. They are addict. They have nicotine. 
Okay. They are well, addicted. Like they like they have tobacco. They're not as they're not as if I understand correctly, they don't have as much tobacco as a normal cigarette, but they still have tobacco. I mean, Ooh. yeah. It's well, no, because it, it it's basically it's basically a cigarette treated with clove oil. Yeah. So it has the same amount of tobacco. It might not have the same amount of nicotine. I don't know if the process is like leaches some of that out. I'm not sure. All I can tell you is that Stamp wearing a menthol clothes was my cigarette of choice in high school, college. So, um, go ahead and give me you just... a. You can either give me a medicine, or no, thank you. either a medicine or a hard psychology role. Uh, definitely the hard psychology. Uh, well, not with that. Um, so three, okay, so, so thirty-two is your t is your target for a hard roll. Yeah, yeah. So you... <laughs> I'm not going to spend half my remaining luck. Thank you. Yeah, no, you 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 don't know why, but you just have the craving all of a sudden. Um, I will stare at them and Louis sighs, thinks to himself, "See, you always knew. You always knew. Was it worth it?" trying to impress them well here they are the wages of sin you always knew those pigeons were going to come home um that image is broken jeremy yes i see that like i don't know it's broken until i hit enter that's fair um uh, and uh one pack of sam Quirna, please gotcha bro which are grabs it rings it up too and you have four four spark plugs and a pack of smokes. Great. Thanks as again. Soon as, I, as soon as I see him come out with uh, spark plugs, I'm standing leaning against the door, uh, against the car, so he can see it. Oh, but I reach my... Sorry, you, you, you cut out there. What, what, you reach your hand out and what? I reach my hand out to Virginia for my money. Yeah, so there's, there is a 10 and a 5 pass to 1, and there's a 10 and a 5 sent to the back. <laughs> um, Hey, guys. What what are we doing? I, I got some spark plugs. I knew you would. Can I, can, I make a, can I make a psychology check to see if I can tell what's going on? Sure. Oh, there's hey. a hard success. Oh, you definitely first, know. First off, just want to say I love it. Really coming together as a group. This is great. Um, second of all, do want to remind you all company bureau policy against gambling on company time. Not great. Also kind of not encouraged outside company time. But anyway, uh, I'm going to look at it as a team building win. Just like finding these spark plugs. Also, kind of weird, I had an urge to pick up a pack of cloves, which I haven't smoked in 15 years. I didn't know you ever smoked. Oh, you know, I was a real bad boy in college. But don't my, worry, I've turned around. My image of you is completely shattered now. It's a dead pan. If I'd known this earlier, I would have held it over your head so hard. I know. it's You know what? It's a burden I bear every day. But you know what? That's the thing about guilt. It's something that all of us can experience without allowing us to be brought low under it. And, uh, and Ginny, I just want you to know I'm going to work extra hard to make sure that I am meeting, if not exceeding, your expectations from this point forward. Wonderful. Um, so, any idea why I'm having this sudden craving for cloves? Anybody else having any hankerings? Anybody else want to admit to, you know, certain dabblings in the past and any illicit or addictive substances that maybe they haven't disclosed on company uh, uh, policies from a purely investigative standpoint, solely relative to this investigation? If I had to guess... Oh, go ahead. C cigarettes is pretty tame for college. Yes. Yes. If yeah, I but had this is Lewis we're talking about. 
interesting, interesting. Also speak fair. Lillian, don't, don't, don't let us stop you. Speak on that. On Before what? Get into Fucking that. In college? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, we all had yeah. some wild times in college. <laughs> Jeremy's fine, trying to fine. start talking twice. It's fine. <laughs> Before we get into that, if I had to guess, we are in a town where abnormal things are happening. That's why we're here. And the temptation for you of something you would consider to be inappropriate has to be significant. Aren't cigarettes just point. addictive? I think... I, I'm not saying that it's not weird. But I am saying that it might not be. So, like, maybe we hold both in our brains and well, wait for more information. It sure, is conceivable. Sure. Sub-question. Sub Do you know how to insert those spark plugs? Huh? Um, Lewis looks up from checking his phone screen again. Oh, um, well, probably the same way that we put them in, but I think checking a video online, if you can get reception, is probably the way to go. Oh, wait a minute. Somebody else can do that? I'm going to pull the, the driver's manual, and I'm going to go into the uh, glove compartment of the car. I'll start looking for a video on installing spark plugs okay go ahead and give me a uh yeah there's a dress dryer manual in the glove compartment uh for yeah, yeah. searching youtube give me a computer use and for reading the driver's manual give me a library use fuck i should have done the other thing <laughs> i guess i get distracted by cat videos would not yeah, yeah we should have both swapped yeah yeah we totally yeah. should have <laughs> You pull out your phone we, and you pull up YouTube. We're both... you, you, you pull out your phone, you pull up YouTube, and immediately it opens up to shorts. Uh, and you just immediately get distracted on shorts. Why are there 80 pages in this thing about the garage door opener? Yeah. Can we uh, swap jobs? Yeah, Lewis, this is this is this is a three hundred page manual and it's a different kind of dense text than you are used to going through. From the back seat, Lillian will call, will call out. Uh, call out to Lewis. Hey, Lewis, you have the manual there. What's it specifically say this vehicle is? I will flip to the cover, and I say in a voice suspiciously like Sens. It is a Ford. It is a. It is a 2015 Ford Fusion. So accurate. Okay. No. Like, sometimes they change stuff between years, and Lillian will Google a look up a video. Computer use. Well, this is going on, and kind of like the whole time, once yeah. well, since I've been looking at the map, mm -hmm. I would like to, uh, having been studying it for a while now, is there anything about the way the town that is laid out is, that is... A culty significant? Give me an occult roll. Forty-five. Or I not, guess I should say a regular success. Yeah, not Dorver itself. But you're sort of looking through the county maps and looking through the so the flipping through all, all, all the maps as a whole. Um and as you're doing that, you sort of realize the shape of the rivers. There are four rivers that come out of Lake Haven. They come out of the mountains. Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, the mountains themselves are, uh, they, it's, a, it's, a, it's a growing spiral, which is a indication of, incre which is an indication of gathering power, basically like a place where power gathers. Okay. Um, uh, a place where power gathers that is either centralized or beneath water is a place of significant occult uh, right. active activity typically. Um, you know, things that are buried deep and that are sealed away, things like that tend to be under mountains, underwater, etc. Um, rivers flowing out means that theoretically, from, from a symbological standpoint at least, uh, rivers flowing outward from the center means that its power is leaking out. 
um, whatever, whatever, it, whatever it has. You also notice that there is a distinct ovarian shape to the rivers. Okay. Or like I can see that. As in, okay, I see what you're talking about. Actually, yeah. So yeah, so slowly. Uh, that, that's that's called yonic. Yonic, thank you. This is, is, is looking yonic. at it. Yeah. Uh, it means Hold out like... a pen and it's just marking stuff on the map with an increasing frown. Yonic means shaped like a like the like a vagina, like a uterus. No, I know. I was just I was joking because I was literally yawning. Nah, fair. Uh, and also, and also, uh, you real as you're sort of like marking down. You realize that you can draw straight lines between, uh, between the five cities in the county, and they form a particular kind of uh, occult symbol. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's like a cross, but the arms are bent into like a Y, a dual right. Y, which is a. I can't think of the the name of that symbol, but it is a. Shrugging across. Yeah, she she is looking extremely displeased. That would be amazing, by the way, if it was like, oh my god, the murders in this town. If you connect them, they make the home star shrugging emoji. <laughs> That's what you get when you fail the occult role. <laughs> right. Um, I don't think any of us notice uh, Jitty's face, though, right? Because we're all too focused on trying to figure out how to spark uh, yeah. plug. Yes. Yeah, I'm busy Probably, watching yeah. yeah. Sorry. So, yeah, it forms uh, what would be referred to as a grapevine cross, but with the, the Y inverted so that it's kind of it resembles more uh, the thieves cross. Um, but yeah, uh, while you're sort of noting all that, while you're looking at the maps, uh, Jeffrey, uh, uh, Lillian finds a uh, how to replace spark plugs in your 2015 uh, Ford Fusion uh, video. Lillian gets out. It's like, hey, Lewis, I found a video. Oh, that great, is... great work. Walking fast and gets to the front of the car, is like, and it just does... kind of like looks over and just starts watching shorts as well for a moment. <laughs> it, do, it, it does require tools. Do any of you have uh, the, a toolkit? No, nope. I have. I have a toolkit for my skates. Same thing, right? Right. What is you know? A car, but a big skate. Really, when well, you think about it, you don't. When I realize that... we don't, I'm saying when I realize think... we don't have the appropriate tools, I'll go into the gas station and see if they have some kind of a generic car toolkit. Give me a luck check. Uh, yeah, yeah, Actually, looking... first, she... first I'm going to check the boot, and then I'll go in the gas station. Okay, you check the boot. Uh, you, you check the trunk. There's a uh, there's a spare tire in there. There is a tire iron uh, and a jack. That makes sense. Um, Lewis, you you you're pretty confident that the wrench that you have the the small wrench that you have for uh, tinkering with your roller blades is not large enough to actually uh, install or uninstall um, spark plugs. Uh, and as you look, you can actually see that there's ac there's actually the the lower half of as you have, you know have a whole spark plug in your hand. There's a the lower half of the spark plug actually has a casing that it uses to sort of set it sink into the engine where they're put in, and that whole bit plus the lug the tightening nut are still in the engine block. Oh, okay. You only you pulled out the like you you pulled out like the. Uh, you pulled out the bit, like the, the, the plug portion, but not the portion that actually installs into the thing because it exploded. So okay. half of it came out. Okay. All right. Well, Let's this roll. might not be as easy of a fix as we thought. Luck roll, better you said? Better. Yeah, luck roll to see if they've got the tools you need. 
yeah, no, you find you can find a, a basic repair kit that has the this is a variety of uh, wrenches and uh, pliers and the like. I will pick that up and uh, bring thing. that out. There's lots of purchases today. <laughs> um, and uh, offer to help decode the YouTube video. All right. Anyone that wants to can make a mechanical repair check with a bonus die. How do I add a bonus die? What's a bonus die? Where it says bonus penalty when you make the roll. I mean, I'll give it a shot. If we're all trying that as well. Actually, no, I don't think I'm going to. I don't think think Ginny would would get involved at all. Is there a consequence for failing? Does that make it harder for Lewis? Uh no, if you fail, if you fail, you just don't. You're not able to replace the spark plugs. Not help. Can, can we all do it, or one of us does it? it? Depends on how hard one of you, any of you, fail. Uh, uh, oh, thir- pl- uh, I made it. Uh, no. Um, what? So thirteen minus three is ten. No. Uh, so a bonus die, a bonus die. Um. You roll uh, the extra d10, and whichever whichever one is better for your tens position is the one you take. Oh. So your options here are either a thirteen or a thirty-three. You would take. Gosh the 13. darn it! You That's can spend, you spend three luck. Would you like to spend three luck? Uh, can I wait until I see the other rolls? <laughs> no, you have and to. Then spend, make that to be- you have to spend the luck when you make the roll. Um, so if you don't spend it, But we're it, all then... making the roll at the same time. Yes, but if you don't spend it, then the next person will roll, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You don't get to, you don't get to wait to see if anyone else succeeds before you decide if you spend your luck. I know Lewis's succeed, but... mechanical repair is also not super great. It's the same as yours. I imagine um, all of you have the same mechanical repair. Yes. So yes. I'll go ahead and I'll spend the luck. Because then we can succeed. All right. So, yeah, I said definitely want to see the rolls to see for the frustration when somebody rolls a one. There we go. That got me. A one, that is, got per- me an improvement a one is great. A hundred is the bad one. No, what I mean is after the luck has been spent, I want someone else to succeed. Ah, I see. Yeah. No, please don't roll. Don't make me sad. Don't make me sad. <laughs> Um, so you spend three points of luck, and yeah, you, you manage to get in there. It's a little bit hard. It takes you a few minutes, but uh, following the instructions in the video that was found, you manage to yank the uh, yank the dead bits of spark plug out and install the new ones. Um, While this is happening, Lillian will make the comments like, you know, broken spark plugs make for real good window smashers. That is an excellent point and a really interesting observation that, um, again, I think we should circle back to that whole college discussion at some point. Once I'm done with the spark plugs, I'm going to uh, ask Lewis and uh, Lillian to cross their fingers and walk around to the engine again and uh, try. See what, see if, see if we have Made the car functional again. You turn the keys. Nothing happens. Uh, um, There's still no lights. Shouts shouts an expletive. There's still no lights on. You imagine that the battery probably was damaged too. Katie just shouts an expletive and kicks the tire. Uh, Y'all have been at this for about 30 minutes now. Well, we figured out what to do with uh, two hours. <laughs> yeah. How, how far away on foot do we think the, the, the meeting place is? Um, based on the maps that Virginia has been looking at, uh, Virginia, do you check and see the uh, how long it would be yes. to walk? Um, it would probably take about an hour to walk there from where you're at. We, we should either try to get a ride or we should probably get underway. Uh, or, you know what? I could head out and, uh, you know, no, nobody, nobody's going alone. Okay. Um, I'm going to open my phone and check to see if 
uh, my Uber or Lyft apps work right now. Yeah, absolutely. There are drivers Lillian. in your area. Lillian is just going to ask the one looking at maps if there is another car rental place in town. Um, I doubt those are showing up on any maps. Yeah, no, car rental places don't show up on road maps. <laughs> so we, we should not get a ride to our secret gov our, our secret organization meeting. Yeah, well, I we, don't think we should, we... but of interest, we can. Okay. I think... We should. I, I don't know the people here enough to trust them. I don't. I, I don't want to get in anybody's car here. But we can when we're not on a deadline if we want to go down that route. Absolutely. Um, um, it's not a bad idea. Actually, wait. Was this car was a rental? Yes. Are there? Can I look on my phone and see if there are any other? Uh, branches of that same rental company in town. The only phone doesn't seem to be, but as you are looking, uh, you do see a tow truck just drives past that on the side of it just says uh, Quixotic Tobotic. Do I know? Wait, do I know what Quixotic means? Uh, how good is your English? Does Jack know what? Quixotic means? I feel like I'm all... Don Quixote. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah, Quixotic is is akin to Quixote, uh, uh, exceedingly idealistic or unrealistic and impractical. Yeah. Yeah. Is that is that a good enough role to know what that word means? Yeah. I start to react to it, to point it out, read the side of the truck and think better of it and point it out to nobody I mean Lewis Ginny just sighs and gets out of the car right. start so walking we want to do we want to try to rent something new or, or go and hope that the Smith can get us back here well We've got to make our meeting. We can rent something new afterwards. That. But right now we've got a place to be. Sure. And Sounds we don't good. know what's going to happen on the way. Yeah. I'm just going to stretch real quick. All right. Do not skate too far ahead of us. Nope. Definitely won't. Just going to make sure that the GoPro is recording and... <laughs> Of note, before we depart, I think I have an idea of what might be happening here. Oh, absolutely. By all means. I think, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm. Then I'm relating this information as has passed me with my 30% retention skill. Uh -huh. So it, it, whatever I get wrong, just correct me. Absolutely. Um, and I'm going to show the map, and it is marked with it is marked up with a red pen. Um, to to indicate like all of the patterns that 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 were with that that. Just mountain, notice the mountain, the rivers, the lake, the shape. Um, Absolutely. Also, what 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 caught your? I, I forgot to mention it, the the abundance of forest forest land around the mountains uh, mm -hmm. indicates that what it indicates that whatever the source of the energy in the center would be would likely be related to life of some kind. Right. I mean, so the my... yonic symbology also. Absolutely, it does. But. But um it, so the yonic symbology does but it also but it, there's a there's a couple of different directions that the yonic symbology could lean in um, correct additional to the to the trees means that it's more it's the, life related it's, it's the control yeah. of life specifically not just the creation of life but the control of life mm -hmm. is there any more so, to be gleaned from this if looking at it and using that as a jumping off point let Jeremy finish and then we'll look at it again. Okay. So everything is 
I'm assuming, well, let's not assume. Uh, how grounded is everybody here in general mythological, mystical, occult? I just nod. Information. Katie, I assume you know. I am new, and I am here to learn and excited to learn. Okay. Like I studied some mythology stuff, but the occult stuff is not what I was hired on for. Katie and Ginny have probably had extensive conversations. Yep. You know, one of the things that I always like to remember is that nobody ever learned anything by claiming to know something that they didn't. So I am always the first one to admit when I don't know something. Because that's how Good. I learn things. So the information from what I'm seeing here, I'm gonna give my overall conclusion and if you want uh, uh, if you want to know how, what I have here that supports that, I'm fr I'm happy to share. My assumption is that there is something underneath this central, the, 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 the inner mountain lake. Some sort of portal, um, some sort of, of. Uh, 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 gestational something. It could be physical, it could be dimensional barrier-wise, something like that. Um, and my assumption is that it is leaking out from there and infecting the rest of the, of, of the county. Um, which is Perhaps what's causing it not to show up on the map is perhaps what's causing all of this strangeness to show up. And I'm going to guess that our answers will probably not be in Dorfer as much as it's probably going to be in Lake Haven or somewhere in that vicinity. Perhaps it's what's causing um, Jade County to exist at all. Mm -hmm. um, can I just operate as if I know what? Yeah, yeah. Um, if it's if it's spreading, I wonder. I wonder if Jade County was always this size, and I wonder if Jade County is going to stay this size. That is a good question. Um, do I see anything on the map that would support looking into other theories? Or any other specific theory? Frankly, I assume something is being birthed in that lake. I I, I want to be first really oh, clear. Oh, that's dream success. Nice. Um, Lewis? I, I want to be first really clear. He kind of holds his hand up and looks around. You know, uh, the Bureau has very competitive and very, uh, very open... Um, maternity and paternity program. So I in no way mean this to imply any kind of disapproval of the birthing process or um, uh, gestational periods among employees or among other people. It's not a judgment thing. It's not a gender thing, um, but sort of in a landscape sense and also in kind of a cosmic sense, I am kind of uncomfortable with the thought that this whole area is, and he makes air quotes, gestational um again want to be very clear don't mean that in a targeted way to to anybody um you know we're very family forward at the bureau but not so much sort of on a cosmic you know um uh awe kind of level so no it's awful and we need to so, kill it with an extreme okay. success kathleen it strikes you that there are two opposite elements in play here like, this, all the symbology that Virginia is pointing out is correct. But water and stone are opposites. Water wears down stone. Sand dries up water. Earth and water, cosmically and mystically, are opposed elements. I'm going to... Yeah, you're not wrong. So, touch the map and say... Oh. Sorry. So that... The lake is 
spilling out from the mountains might mean that the mountain is holding something down. When you think mythologically, uh, you know, your first thought when you think of mountains it goes back to, you know, a journey to the West where um, Sun Wukong. Sun Wukong was was sealed mountains under a mountain. Mountains as prison. Mountains yeah. as prison, mountains as punishment, that kind of thing from a cosmic scale. Um, so it might be, it might, it may very well that this is gestation, be that this is gestational. It may be that gestation is the presentation of something that has been sealed beneath the mountain. That's the other, so sort of the other read on it is less that it's a, less that it's a birthing place and more that it is a prison from which something is being reborn. I'm going to um, tap on the mountains and say, did you consider the conflict inherent in the presence of the mountains and share that thought? Mm. That's also a fair point. That could very much be... be... And uh, very nice, Jenny. With that, with that added in, thinking about trees as life, right? It might be that the trees are more connected to the mountains than the water, right? So this is life suppressing something that is spilling out. So it's it's not that something is giving birth and we need to kill it. That something is potentially escaping, and we need to keep it from escaping or kill it. Possibly. Really it's like, like the land itself doesn't want whatever's happening to happen. Correct. I really like this interdisciplinary connection that we have going on here. There's some really nice synergy happening. So I just want us all first to take a moment and just recognize that. That's really recognized. Great. Move on. <laughs> um, just, you know, it's OK, you know, to be proud of yourself in these moments. Um, also, uh, have we considered that? You know, just because the land doesn't want something to happen, maybe the land isn't on our side. Are you saying we should let the, we should let whatever monstrous thing is trapped underneath the mountain or being born in the lake be born or I'm escape? Say, I'm saying maybe we shouldn't assume that it's monstrous just just because of traditional associations with Earth and life. This whole area is an AWE. Maybe the life that exists here is aberrant in and of itself. And what it's attempting to subvert is the restoration of the natural order. I'm not saying we should just stand back. I'm just suggesting we keep an open mind. You do have a good point. There's nothing to say that we have only one aberrant uh, event occurring here. Yes. We have a whole county to deal with. That could that very could... well be the conflict between two separate aberrations. There yeah. could be a lot of killing that needs to happen. Well, um, okay. I, I, I like that you're expressing yourself directly. That's a good, that's good. Let's lean into that. Um, I'm less thrilled about the killing. How, how often Sen mm. is killing a solution? I was gonna say. <laughs> it depends, honestly. Um, yeah. Most it also depends on what your definition of killing is. Uh, most of the things that field teams deal with are AWEs or, or in an AWE are altered items and the things that have been modified by altered items. Sometimes that is people that have been possessed by otherworldly entities and there is no way to free them because you have no idea what's holding them. And in those cases, you kill them because... Better that they die than turn into whatever's going to happen next. Um, okay. Is generally speaking the the opinion uh, the official opinion of the bureau. Um, what's the, the 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 official stance of the bureau is that it is less important to save every to save the people involved in the in the event than it is to make sure that the event doesn't end the world. Mister Lampley. How often do you think that the organization solves things with the termination of life? 
Uh, would I know that information to a percentage? Um, somewhere between 40 to 60%, depending on which team it is that's been sent out. Well, it's it, it can be a little dependent on uh, the individual personalities that have been assigned, but mm -hmm. it comes out in the wash to about a 50-50 mix. If I've been assigned here, let's aim high. We don't have to make any assumptions yet. We don't have enough information. This is also true. I'm not saying that I'm not saying they just go in and 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 plug everything that looks at a strange in the back of the head. I certainly would rather not. I'm just saying. Have we started walking yet? Yes. I, yeah, I would assume we've been walking this whole time. All I can uh, imagine is Lewis trying to escape backwards while trying to have a conversation. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Lewis, go ahead uh, and give me a rollerblading. And so I slowly realized what what nutcases did I just get paired with? Hell yeah. <laughs> I make it look good. Yep. Damn. <laughs> yeah, um, no, you are effortlessly so, rollerblading backwards. So just just like just just rollerblading backwards. Love it. Just like sort of back and forth a little bit, like veering around, keep pace while well, keep keep the movements up. Um, and Most Lewis... important role to roll low on. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Extreme success. Um, so um, Lewis is going first off. Ginny, want to say absolutely loved the humor that you're bringing to the situation. Aim high and talking about guns. Fantastic. Really that love it. Intentional. Oh, you know what? You again are being too humble. Uh, just fantastic. I'm going to put you down on my punsters list when we come to the white elephant at holiday time. Please uh, don't. Um, okay. Wink. Um, second of all, um... <laughs> one day we will have characters that get along, Craig. I swear. <laughs> You know what? I feel like I, I feel like we're developing a rapport here, and I think that's great. And uh, you know what? It's it's our first time working together, so I feel like we can really lean into that. So uh, Lewis is excited about the opportunity to overcome and exceed those expectations. Um, and I, I, of course, just love driving you crazy in character. But um, yeah, um, I, yeah. So. Um, I, I, I'm sorry. I'm just so focused on the fact that I look fucking amazing skate, uh, roller skating here. That um, <laughs> we we can continue to make, I, I guess, idle so, idle chatter. Or once not. Lewis looks sufficiently distracted, um, Kathleen's going to lean over to Jenny and say, "Once you figure out when to tune him out, he's not so bad." No, he's fine. He's um, it's fine. Everyone make me a constitution uh, constitution roll. Good God. It wasn't a hundred. I'm always going to appreciate, like, this system, The one of the things I love about this system is it makes so crystal clear what the dice curse is <laughs> because it's the system where you want to roll low as opposed to most uh, most other systems where you want to roll high and in this system i roll high and in D, &D i roll low so the three of you that aren't on rollerblades fittingly enough <laughs> By the time you get to the yes. law office that you were indicated to go to, it, the, the sun is high in the sky, and you are exhausted. Walking an hour in a city is not the best thing for your legs, or back, or lungs, uh, and you're feeling it. Yep. They're a bench. Oh, yeah. I will would like to sit down. 
Yeah, there's a, you, you to, this is a, this is a sort of a standalone building, a standalone office building. There are no cars in the parking lot. It seems like it's closed at the moment. Um, and yeah, there's a bench right. There's a bench right in front, basically, uh, uh, right right against the, uh, the 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 glass, the the one way glass window. Um, it's like it's not one way, but it's like extremely tinted, so you can't really see through it uh, from the outside. Um, you sit down. Got to stay hydrated. This is why I love my dromedary pack. It takes another um, aggressive pull on the definitely unbranded uh, at, <laughs> as the three of you sit down and just pant heave wheeze um, who's sitting in the middle want to roll for it yes I think rolling for because I don't think anybody at this point I don't think anybody would have the composure to be like I'm definitely going to position myself here yeah, no, Katie just popped down. Just roll a d10, whoever rolls the middle one is in the middle. There you go. Awesome. <laughs> All right, Jeremy. Fuck you, yes. Call of Cthulhu. So, Jeremy, so. Jeremy, roll off. Well, no, no, no. Here's, here's, here, I will arbitrate. Uh, uh, Kathleen's in the middle. Um, okay. Uh, of the two tens, which one of you is on Kathleen's left? Uh, no, I, yeah, no, I'm, I'm on left. All Quiet right, down. So... It's a ten is talking. <laughs> <laughs> so while oh, Lewis is standing oh. triumphant, uh, uh, oh, uh, uh, feeling good, no, uh, he's doing fakies and alley oops around yeah, the lots. So. And the three of you are exhausted. Ginny, you sit down and you, uh, exhausted get a load off your feet and as you sit there you just in, you do a, a sort of a deep intake of breath to catch your catch your breath let that oxygen refill your lungs and as you do uh -huh. you get this bittersweet acrid metallic smell it sort of hits you particularly hard from around the corner of the building like blood and other stuff you just described blood, so yeah. I assume <laughs> he just sighs, stands up, turns, and walks towards the corner. And as she's walking, he is just going to reach out and like grab Lewis by the wrist, because nobody's going alone, going anywhere alone. That includes her, and is pulling you along with on your roller blade. Oh yeah. Well, okay. I'm into it. Lillian's this is great. Lillian's, Way to get into it. Lillian's sitting on the bench, like looking like kind of looking up at the sky with eyes closed and comments, Lewis, remind me to go to the company gym some more. You got it. You know what? We encourage all employees to, you know, at their own at their own pace and oh no. All of you roll. <laughs> I'm watching them go around the corner, but since Lillian's not getting up, I'm using that as an excuse to stay on the bench. All of you roll I'm listen. I'm sitting on the bench. Listen? Yes. Nope. Is that everybody roll? Yep. I was That's sitting listen. on the bench. <laughs> I was sitting on the bench. I'm very what? <laughs> By the gore. Lillian, Lillian's like actively listening for Lewis to respond. And apparently he's the only one that hears whatever's happening. Uh, so you're all, three of you are exhausted. And so you're mostly hearing your own panting, except for yep. Lillian. Uh, Lewis, and Lewis you're, is hearing himself. You're hearing yourself. But right. <laughs> you all hear, you all hear the sound of, so you all hear an odd sound coming from relatively nearby. Lillian, for whatever reason, in your mind, the word mastication pops up. Oh, uh, no. And Ginny, oh, and no. Ginny and Lewis, as you round the corner, you see... Yeah, I, I, I am... I, she is pulling out her gun with the other hand, by the way. You see blood. It looks kind of like something hit the wall at high speed and just splattered. 
And you see a foot coming out of like what looks like it looks like there's a hole in the wall of the building and inside that cavity is this sort of like this foot laying down covered in blood and it's twitching we, and we don't hear the the chewing sound though you, you you hear the sound but you're not your brains aren't processing it right now it's just a sound of it's an upsetting sound Lillian is the one that's very clearly like your brain has processed that is chewing Lillian, <laughs> like, right. set, Lillian sets up and it's like why does it sound like someone's chewing really loudly? Describe so so describe the 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 Hellraiserian situation that we're looking at one more so, time. So right now you are you have rounded the corner. You're looking down. It's sort of a side alley. Hit the wall. This, it's a side alley to this building. There's like a hedge blocking it. Anything else mm-hmm. from view? Um, and then there's just a, a blood splatter along the wall, and in the middle of the blood splatter, where it looks like something you hit, there is a hole. And a single leg, like sort of half calf down, uh, sticking out of that hole that you can see. Of the hole, okay. Yeah, and it's shaking, twitching slightly as you're hearing the the sound. The sound is coming from the hole. Uh, Sounds like it, yeah. Once she says, once she calls it chewing, am I able to tell that that's the sound I'm hearing. Once Lillian says chewing, your brain rationalizes the sound. Yeah, something sounds like something chewing. I'm going to grab Lillian by the hand and run around the corner to where I saw Lewis and uh, Jenny Jenny go. Lewis, Uh, flashlight now. uh, 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 Yeah. Flashlight. 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 Flashlight up. Um, flashlight. And I'm gun is is pointed in the hole. So you go. You round, I'm assuming, Yep. You round look in the hole. You round look in the hole, and as you do, the light shines, and there is this. You see two things. You see. Uh, a corpse, definitely. Currently, right. not the thing that draws your primary attention. Right. Um, you see something that would could best be described as approaching humanity on mm-hmm. like a 70 degree angle. Um, okay. With rubbery nice. skin. Well, well phrased. With rubbery skin, a hoof-like foot with the other foot having been seemingly lost somewhere and replaced by two wooden planks acting as a as like a split peg leg um sort of uh, nailed through the mid leg with the missing foot from one side to the other um with a f- uh, a face that looks like it was molded from clay by someone who has never seen another human being but it's a general idea of the various orifices that are in their own face um, mm-hmm. currently with the sort of like rigid bony clawed fingers ripping into the corpse and shoving bits of meat into its jo- into its open fanged maw and the beady little eyes that are not sized properly for the swollen skull that it has turns and reflects in the light. Um, make us, both of you make me a sanity roll as we go to break. Yeah, that sounds fair. Uh, those of you that are watching, uh, those of you that are watching, uh, uh, please stay tuned for these commercial messages. And we'll be back in just a few minutes. When uh, when we take our break, you take your break. So stand up, stretch your legs, move around, and uh, we'll be back in just a few minutes.
And we're back. A dinosaur story. Um, so, Virginia and Lewis have come face to face with uh, something that I've added to the turn order as a mocking charnel feeder. Um, Why does it got to be mocking? Because it's not nice. <laughs> Um, its mother never mocker. taught it to use kind words it's it's uh, mocking in this particular sense is a mockery of humanity mockery of life sort of thing um its I, mother never taught it to use kind words I using not, vicious I, mockery on a child i do not like this charnel feeder charlie it's smug <laughs> presence mocks me um but uh, we are going to set up our dexterity order, which is what initiative is referred to as in Call of Cthulhu. So uh, going down a list, I'm going to ask each of you for your dexterity. This is not a roll. You just tell me what your dexterity number is, and that's your order of opera. That's your order of action. Um, so uh, Lillian, what's your dexterity? 60. 16 or 60? 60. 60. Six, six zero. zero. Okay. I'm kind of disappointed it's not 16. Virginia, what is your dexterity? 65. 65. Lewis, what's your dexterity? 16. No, it's a 40. 40. <laughs> Kathleen, what's your dexterity? 70. Nice. And the mocking charm so close to great. is 65. So we are going to go into descending order. The uh, we're going to go in, uh, in descending order. Uh, unfortunately, in this particular case, the monster wins ties. Uh, so the mocking charnel feeder will be going before Virginia. Um, so the way combat in Call of Cthulhu works is it is descriptive. Basically, we go down the list of initiative. You tell me what you want to do, and I tell you what to do to do it. Um, it's not necessarily always going to be a a, a, a shoot firearms roll, but uh, it, sometimes it will be that a lot. Um, and you get one, basically you get an action to turn. That action can be whatever I determine it is to get to your objective for the round. Uh, combat rounds are a nebulous period of time in which everyone acts at almost the same time the differences in dexterity are basically degrade you know degrees of reaction time more than anything else right um <clears throat> all right is so, it five seconds or just sort of nebulous that, that's what nebulous. you said right it's yeah it's a yeah. nebulous period of time uh kathleen what would you like to do you've 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 heard this sound and as you come around the corner with, with Lily and you smell the blood uh, and you see Virginia gun pointed at a hole in the wall where there is a twitching foot coming out of it. Um, I'm going to uh, pull out my shotgun and uh, standing, staying back away from the hole, circle around to where I can see inside of it okay um, um go ahead are, are you doing anything other than just getting an angle on it um right now i'm trying to assess the situation and see what's going on mm -hmm. um can is there Is there uh, some sort of role I can get, I can make to get more information about what's going on? Like to uh, get more information about who this is that died or so, uh, what this thing is or. You can't get uh, more information about who it is that's died, but you can be in a cult role. Okay. And also a sanity, role, a sanity role as you maneuver into where you can see it. He is. Where are you? There it is. All right. Hard success. Success is zero point zero put damage to your sanity. Um, 
and mark that occult roll if you haven't already. Uh, 52. I haven't because with... I forgot. Make sure you mark all your successful skills. Um, with 52, this is a ghoul. Um, this is What do a... I know about ghouls? Uh, ghouls are... They are... Uh... Ghouls are uh, uh, creatures that often dwell in subterranean tunnel systems uh, amongst various cities. They are considered to be undead, but they're not. They are less undead and more um, monstrous humanoids that may or may not have once been human. Uh, that have been changed by otherworldly powers and entities. In this particular case, typically um, some uh, higher level being uh, directly modifies a human or just creates a ghoul out of nothing uh, to turn it into a ghoul, uh, turning a human into a ghoul. Um, they feed on flesh. They are cannibalistic. They are not. They they are rotting, but they are not dead. Um, and they are, uh, they, they tend to, they tend to behave kind of like in movies, what fast zombies do, uh, where they sort of run, tackle, grab, bite, uh, is their typical modus operandi. Um, um, is this, is this, uh, shoot their brains out situation like zombies? Uh, it shoot them as much as you can, um, though melee weapons tend to work better on them. Uh, they are resilient to firearms. Uh, so this is the sort of thing where a fire axe tends to do more damage than a, than a firearm. Um, but that is what you get. Uh, let me see if you do anything other than just the roll. Uh, let me stop moving that and go back to this one. I'm going to prepare uh, to shoot. If I can do it this turn, then sure. But if not, I'm preparing to do it for next turn. Uh, let's see. Each character may use their action. Yeah, you only get one action. So yeah, uh, so that is your action that you've done. You move. You 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 did sort of a combination move and investigate. Um, mm-hmm. It is now the ghoul's turn. Uh, so yeah, Jenny, you're you are finger on the trigger, ready to squeeze as you see this. As you got them. Shines right. over this thing, and it immediately reacts with a preternatural speed and reaction time lunging out of this hole in the wall, bursting free. Lillian, make me a sanity roll. Um, as you, now you can see it. Another uh, one? Um, Lillian. No, Very, oh, Lillian. Oh, Lillian. Okay. My bad. Is your name Lillian? <laughs> it could be. You don't know what my secret is. I don't. Uh... And all right, so this is going to your be a secret is that you're secretly roll. all of everybody else. Yes. Uh, you don't get to push combat rolls. Uh, this is an opposed skill roll. You can either choose to fight back or dodge. What would you like to do as this thing is coming at you with claws? And if I if I do one of these, I uh, so I can either, in other words, I can either forego my 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 action and dodge. Or I can shoot. Fighting back does not. Fighting back does not take your action. This is a part of the. Okay. Con- this is you deciding how you're defending. Basically, if Dodd. you're fighting, if you're fighting back, you're going to be using a brawl check. If you're dodging, you're going to be using your dodge check. Uh, let me check my brawl. Let me check my brawl. Where is my brawl? Is brawl called something else? Fighting oh, there it is. No, I'm dodging. I'm dodging. Okay. Um, I might so, not be dodging well because, hmm, but we'll see. All right. Uh, so you make a dodge roll, and they will make a fighting roll, and we will compare the results. Oh, oh, oh. um, you cannot push combat rolls. No, but can I luck it? Let me see. Well, it's a it's a comparison. 
Um, n- I'm oh, that's no. true. It's also yeah, a comparison. No, you can't, yeah, because it's a com- it's a comparison, so it's not. Okay, fair no, enough. You can't luck it. But it's also not. I mean, potentially, it's not a failure if it works. Right. Well. Wait. Right. So wait, how does this work mechanically? Does our do our points? M- matter in this if it's a comparison yes uh levels of success so like if you both succeed but one of you succeeds hard and one of you only succeeds regular the hard wins if you both succeed but one succeed but one uh is a extreme and one's a hard the extreme wins uh if you both but fail if it's both a normal then... success then it's whoever got the better role yeah it'll depend on i'm i'm, I'm yeah. Checking right now because there's a there's a bit of a resolution here. If the attacker achieves a higher level of success, they deal damage. If the defender achieves a higher level of success, they have dodge attack and take no damage. In the case of a draw, defender wins. So it's levels of it's comparing levels of success. It's not about so like I miss for example, I miss by eight. If it misses its target by nine, do I dodge? If it misses its target at all, you stop. You dodge. Okay. If you both okay. fail, yeah. if you both I fail, you dodge. I, I feel like I might have been confusing. What I was attempting to convey is don't worry yet because it could fail. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Then that's why, and well, that's why, and that that's why combat rules. Helpful anyway. Yeah. And yeah. that's why combat rules aren't allowed to be pushed. And I'm going to say also, you can't spend luck on it because you're, it's, it's a, it's a comparison of numbers. It's not about hitting your threshold. That's fair. That's fair. Um, so this is where I roll the button. Well, it rolled a 23. Um, and it, Assuming that's a success. Uh, let me see. Uh, Hilarious that this thing's brawl uh, is like 10. It's fighting is a 40%. So, yes, uh, that is a success. Okay. Um, so, it is going to... It is going to latch on to you. That means it's in fucking point blank range. Uh-huh. I mean, it was probably point blank range before, but still. So you're going to take. How many hit points do you have? Nine. Because we took one at one point. So you take six points of damage. Oh, for the, for the Xerox machine. Yeah. Okay. Yep. You take six points of damage, and it has latched onto you, teeth sinking into your neck. Just... Okay. Uh, reminder for viewers and players, Call of Cthulhu is an extremely lethal system. Because y'all have somewhere around nine or ten hit points, uh, and damages range from D4s to D10s. Yep. You make ten photocopies, you die. I mean, if you stab yourself ten times, you probably would die. <laughs> Fair point. And it wasn't ten needle. photo. It wasn't. You need to sacrifice every photocopy, just whenever the machine felt like it. Yeah, the machine demanded a blood sacrifice to continue operating. It wasn't per photocopy. Yep. So it's like blood toner. Yes. Although you may you might have restored that. Hang on, let me look real quick on healing. Um, because it's been a while since you. A bitch, it's out of magenta again. <laughs> uh, do How do we re- actually? Do you have any armor on? No. Uh, are you not wearing your Kevlar vest? Oh, that's right. We got one. Yes, uh, then I am. All right, Kevlar vest deducts da- uh, reduces damage by eight points, so you don't take any damage actually. From that okay, hit. fair enough. Nice. Because it, it bites you. It, I'm going to say it bites you because it wasn't aiming specifically. It was in the shoulder. Bite. Uh, so it bites you in the shoulder and it's chewing on the Kevlar. Fair enough. Is is she still grabbed, though? Yes, yeah. still grabbed. I think so. Uh, Virginia, it's your turn. There is just an annoyed sigh. And I am in point-blank range. Uh, so I get a bonus die to my attack. Uh, um, however, I do plan on firing off the, the, I often fire three shots. I am going to fire all three. 
So that gives me a penalty die. Do they cancel out or do I roll yeah, both? They cancel out. Okay. Is there here we go. It, um because it is holding on to you, it cannot dodge right now. Uh, mm -hmm. so it is not going to. So that was I'm just gonna I'm gonna assume if it's if I'm firing oh no, I roll each shot individually, never mind. I mean at least I hit with one that did ten damage. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, you 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 fire off and there's just an annoyed, like she's dealt with this kind of thing before, and then boom, boom, boom. all three rounds connect, but only but only one of them actually manages to penetrate the rubbery That's flesh fair. of this thing, and it definitely doesn't it doesn't react like a like a human would if you shot them. Uh, yep. it takes half damage from firearms, so it that's only fine. Takes five points of damage. In, in hey, that's damage. five damage. And yeah, you you hit with the Somebody one that did the most damage. That's pretty me. good. Yeah. Somebody get this thing off me, please. I think Lewis was sort of immediately upon seeing it, fumbling with phone and flashlights going, um, hey, um, well, you know, we should probably try to figure out if it's- Get possible. this thing off me! Yeah. So that was before it lunged out. Oh, okay. Like, oh, figure out if it's- ha, ha! And it's just like screaming now. Uh, Lillian. Lillian like, is unsure what to do and is going to try to hit it with the stun baton. All right. Uh, Feels like an appropriate reaction since I rolled like a 24 on my sanity fighting, roll. Uh, like I just don't give a shit. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. What? Uh, yeah. Woo! Woo! Extreme success makes that three damage. Uh, what's the, what is the, does the stun do anything special? I'm pretty sure it did. Was yeah, do you, did you write it down? It's done. It does one d three plus done. And I don't think I wrote it on here. And when you get an extreme, no. when you get an extreme success on a damage roll, uh, you deal max damage for whatever the value is. You like shove it in its eye. And it's a melee attack, so it takes the full damage. Too. Let's see, stun. I have my seventh edition book somewhere, but I'm just going to keep using my PDF here. Stun target may not act for one d6 rounds. Ah, roll me d6. That's brutal. And that only does that that takes effect on an extreme success? No, I think it just takes effect on. Takes yeah, that's. On a I'm I'm pretty sure that's just on a hit because you sacrifice the extra damage for the stun. Let me take a look here. There are beasties that are immune to it. Yeah, these uh, I don't think these are. It does. So I'm using taser contact, basically. Yeah. And it just says damage is 1d3 plus stun. Yeah. All right. just and so you can't, like, hit Cthulhu in the toe and have him be like, oh, dang, I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> but this guy is not immune to it. So, yeah, yeah. You, you jab him in the face, and the entire the thing that was chewing just sort of locks up. It's still holding on to Virginia, but it sort of locks up the, the muscles in its flesh sort of tensing. Uh, Lewis, what are you doing? Screaming. Um, okay. D I didn't, um, oh yeah. Um, okay. Uh, I think, I think Lewis is just starting to hit it with the flashlight while trying to film it with his phone. Okay. Give me a brawl check. That's about right. Not a one hundred, so you don't hit Virginia instead. But yeah, you're you're hitting it, but it's just bouncing off the rubbery skin, yeah. and you're just screaming and hitting and screaming and hitting. Uh, do I, I? I I I may I suggest 
the um i mean one it's not particularly good at combat but two i think he's actually watching through the phone to see if anything is showing up in the phone okay yeah that's, that makes a good excuse for why he's missed uh all right tell her around kathleen is anything showing up in the phone uh it is yeah but no like shadowy figures behind nothing it or the anything moment, nothing in the moment, no you have to review the footage later Oh, God. Um, so, in the D&D system, you don't really get a penalty for using ranged when your comrades are around. Can I shoot this thing, or am I risking hurting Jenny? You are risking hurting all three of the people that are in melee with it right now. Lovely. Shotguns. <laughs> Yo. Lovely. Um, we died of friendly fire, not the monster. <laughs> I would yeah, prefer not to be is... shot. Um, I'm going to run over and... Uh, that said, if you to... murder me, you get to see my character. I'm going to try to shove it off of Jenny with my foot. Just... Foot on head and kick. Okay. Let me see real quick. Uh... Any chance that's easier to do since it's stunned and I can take my time with it? Uh, not particularly, but it will be a strength check. Oh, lovely. I think also it doesn't get to, you know, dodge or anything. No, but it, this, is, this will be an opposed check, uh, an opposed strength roll. Um, because you're trying to dislodge it after it's already lamped, latched on. That's fair. Uh, so it's not about being success, it's about levels of success. Yeah. Although in this case, if it fails and you fail, it's defender wins the tie. So. Um, unless it gets a... So I'm not going to win this. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, if it had rolled a 100, you would have, but it rolled an 80. So you both fail, which means that you're not quite able to dislodge it from Virginia. Uh, but you got your hand, you've got your hands on it or your foot on it, and you're shoving. Um, you're in the process of trying to dislodge it. It's just really latched on there. Uh, all right, uh, it's turn. It can't do anything because it's stunned for a, for a number of rounds. Virginia. Um. Well, I fired three shots. I got fourteen more bullets in this gun. Go ahead. Guess what's next? Yeah. Nice. That's two sh two hits. Uh, One in extreme success, although I don't think that matters on combat. Look them up, Socrates. Uh, no, extreme success matters. It means that you do max okay. damage. Oh, okay, cool. And other things so, potentially, is, depending on if your thing does. Um, that is 10 have, 10 have to 5, I assume, and 2 yep. have to 1. Yep. But yeah, no, you, you unload in it, and you feel it go <laughs> slack. As it and drops I to the ground. Shove it by the head off of Yeah, me. yeah, you just... And it hits the ground, and you're all out of initiative. That's how quick combat goes in the scene. Out of instinct, though. Good just thing you're wearing armor. At it again. You just... yep. <laughs> Holster the gun. Uh, Im immediately, Lewis screams, Double tap! Double tap! Rule one! Double tap! It's dead. Double tap! Is that a rule? Is that one yes. of our rules? Yeah, no, well, it's, it's in your hand. Well, it is. Yeah, it's oh, actually I'm, in the rules. I'm sorry. He, it's in fine. The will go boom, 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 boom. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry. Lewis, Lewis remembers. I didn't remember as a player. Lewis has these rules memorized, and Lewis goes, "Rule five, double tap, double tap, yeah. rule five. Yeah, right. knows it too. <laughs> pat, Do pat. me a favor. Pick up those shells, please. Some mess Katie is now. Like picking up the shells. And dots. I'm going to I'm going to look at the body and see if not the, not the ghoul body. Ghoul body is the problem. I, I I'm checking to see if this is our 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 contact. Go ahead and give me a uh, give me a uh, for for you specifically a constitution roll with a bonus die. Okay. Um, this is just to keep your stomach. Oh yeah, no, you're good. You're good. You, it's Let's see if I can make it an extreme just for fun. Nope. Okay, fine. 
Uh, it smells real bad, but it, yeah, you're not, you you you've, you have smelled this smell before, um, right? No, and then give me a. Let's see. Uh, give me a. Your choice of medicine or appraise to determine if this is your smith. Well, I am. I am ten times that good as good at appraise as I am at medicine. So, nope. Uh, so yeah, it the body is far too like it is. Fair enough. It's de It feels like it's odd. Um, as you start looking up the body from foot to where the thing was eating, it rots progressively worse. Like the ghoul, while it was biting, was actively accelerating the rotting process of the corpse. Um. So it's hard to tell. Does it still have pockets left? Um, it still has some of its clothes left, and you're rifling through, and you're not finding any sort yeah. of like identification okay. or badge or anything like that. Um, what you do find is a wallet that has about thirty bucks in it, um, and no ID. I mean, that doesn't make that the, it easily could be our Smith. That easily could because be. you wouldn't have I. Why would you? You would it behooves you not to carry ID. Probably a dumb question. Is the ghoul wearing clothes? The ghoul is wearing sort of like a rudimentary sack pants and that okay. odd wooden, like a pair of wo like wooden spurs that have been nailed to it to its uh, to its left leg as a Any as sort a, of like a chain wallet or no. no I'm, I'm sorry. Um, once I've picked up the shells, I'm going to photograph everything with all three of my cameras, both with and without flash. The ghoul's body, the victim's body, into the hole, out of the hole, into the alley, out of the alley. Um, as you t as you photograph the victim's body with flash, there is a uh, the camera picks up a bit of iridescence that you can't see with your normal eye. Um, you know that some operatives leave indications, uh, particularly when they're undercover, leave indications of themselves or information, uh, in, in, uh, um, uh, basically using uh, solutions that fluoresce under blacklight, um, and you get an idea, you get the feeling that potentially, if you were to shine like a black light on this on this outfit, um, in addition to it just being disgusting because of all the gore, you might get some information. Oh, does anybody have a black light? If if that's if that's SOP, would any of us? by default have been issued one it's not sop it is something that some smiths do but not all of them okay okay is it common knowledge that smiths do that though because if um, it was I, that might be something i might have i would have acquired it's just black light stuff yeah yeah i'd say i'd say it, i open my for, phone and i open up a black light app yeah, for field agents specifically, yeah, it is. And yeah, you open your phone and you open it up and, and shine. Um, is that a thing? Yeah. Black light up? Yeah. It's just a color of it's just a color of light. I did not know that. That is cool. Yep. See? I'm not just talking out of my ass when I'm playing Lewis. I also <laughs> that's how I learned picks too. Um, um I yeah, I see I, Lewis. Lewis, could you be a deer and check and see if there's anybody who was attracted by the sounds of gunfire? Right, right, right. right. Just gotta, just gotta check. Uh, just, just gonna. Yep, 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 yep. Just, yep. Just gonna check. Thank you. Yep. Check yep. Uh, Lewis. Because I'm yep. Mike. Yep. Uh, uh, noting Katie is actually recording things now. Lewis is going to swap back to the 
uh, picture roll and pull up the video that's been recording and start spooling through that to see if there are any signs of uh, um, of figures. Uh, he will also be glancing up and around. Um, I would submit that any roll that you have me do for to see if we're observed should be with a penalty die. Sure, absolutely. Go ahead and give me a spot hidden with penalty. Um, as to what you see with the black light, you do see that there are markings on this outfit. Um, and you sort of shine the black light over like the left, what's what remains like the left like hip area. And you see that there is a, um, there is um, in similar handwriting to the graffiti, um, um, just uh, FBC, like the FBC logo sort of uh, uh, stitched into the outfit in this black light reactive fabric. Fuck. So even with the penalty, hard success. Sort of thing that if you saw it in the club, people would think it's just a weird design. Um, but you being you. Yeah, it does look like this is probably your Smith. Um, so yeah, with a hard success, with a, with a hard success, uh, Lewis, you do see, you see a sheriff's car. Uh, rolling past the lights aren't on but it is sort of rolling past the building um, um rolling past as in like slow to the point where it's checking out the scene yeah okay um, um uh we have uh we have um uh local local law local law sheriff sheriff law do we want to uh attract attention or do we want to uh you know send him off somewhere maybe is immediately uh, pulling on her gloves and uh, dragging the ghoul corpse into the hole so that it is not viewable by a civilian. Cool. What's the what's the um, what's the date? At least, what was the date when we came in here? Um, uh, October tenth. Cool. Okay. All right. Great. Um. Does it okay? So you're hiding it. Does anybody respond to Lewis asking about if we want the sheriff to stop or not? Um, hold on. I'm prob it's probably best that we don't draw attention to ourselves. FBI, can we stop the, him? Oh, I'm not ignore that. Um, that don't don't draw, don't pull attention away. They come over. That's what we. Yes, that is what we insinuate because that was our plan really anyways. Um, give me a. Does give it? Me a, give me a spot ahead and check, Jenny. Okay. Does it look like they're the sheriff is paying attention nope. to us? Uh, you couldn't tell. Um, you did notice Lewis though. It, it, not that it means anything to you specifically. Um, but you did notice that there that it seems like it's it seems like it's election season for the sheriff uh, for the county sheriff um, because you did you did notice like sort of on the side of the truck uh, was just uh, elect elect um, Morgan uh, reelect Morgan Alders for sheriff. Okay. Um, I guess then um, without making a big show of it. Um, Lewis will just kind of try to smile nonchalantly and give a thumbs up. Like, not a wave, because a wave could be interpreted as, I'm trying to get your attention. Just sort of a friendly thumbs up, like, how's it going? With the intent of implying, everything's fine, we're all fine here, thank you, how are you? Give me a fast talk, Chuck. Cool. Just a thumbs up over the 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 scattered chunks of a human body. I got I I have a fallback. That's why I ask if it was October. No, I love it. I'm I'm so on board. Forty eight success. You don't see any response because the windows are tinted. Um, yeah, but it, it doesn't I, stop. It continues a slow roll, but it doesn't stop. Okay, but a slow roll on the past. Cool. Uh, they're going. They're going past. I think. Good. The the act of the thumbs up and the smile seems to have noticeably calmed Lewis down. Uh, 
Um, um, are you, are you, uh, is he, uh, Katie, you're in the hole. Um, give me a constitution save, first of all. Second of all, I'll give you a spot hidden check. Um, in the hole. Constitution. If Katie has had time to pull any more of the scene into the hole, um, she did. And a spot hidden. And the constitution, it, it smells oh, even worse. It smells... You thought it smelled bad on the outside. Um, but with the success in your spot hidden, as you are breathing very intentionally, not through your nose, uh, so that you get the most air cycling, so that you're not vomiting all over the place as you are in what feels like a gore den, because there's definitely the remains of more than one body in here. Um, well, way down the hole. Now we got when you walk through the Gordon. Um, but you do notice uh, that there is a gun, that there is a uh, Sphinx 3000 standard issue FBC handgun in here um, with a magazine in the clip with a, with a, with a, with a, with a, with a magazine in the, in the, in, in the gun um, bullet in the chamber. So it was like, he was, he was prepared to defend himself. Um, and you find uh, a USB stick that was looks like it was on an, it was on like a chain necklace, but it got snapped off in the, in, in whatever fight happened. Um, and a Bowie knife that is going covered to, in blood. I'm going to photograph um, the three items with three cameras, with and without. Um, the the USB stick has another like weird flicker from the flash. Like the like the shirt did. Um, then I'm gonna leave it where it is, but I'm going to, with gloved hands, pick up the other two items and uh, put them in bags. The gun and the knife. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You put those in bags. And you're leaving the USB stick where it is. Until um, Jenny has a chance to bl blacklight it. Yep. Right. Yeah, you but I'm not going to ask her to until this oh. cop situation is resolved. Okay. What what is what is um what is Lillian doing? Just kind of standing there, like looking at the corpse. Um, the ghoul corpse is like still a little, still trying to calm down a bit. Makes sense. Does she? Does she look like she's doing okay, or does she look like she's trying to center herself? Looks like she's doing okay. Yeah, yeah, no, you're, you're, you, it's upsetting and disturbing. For, you know, this is your first day, this is your first mission on the field agent. This is probably the first time you've seen somebody killed in front of you. And even though it wasn't, strictly speaking, what you would refer to as a human, um, Watching anything get killed right in front of you is affecting, but your your training is kicking in. The you know that 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 the the mental reinforcement that you went through uh, at the agency is kicking in, and you're going through the mental exercises to calm down, center yourself, stay in the moment, that sort of thing. Oh yeah, it does remember. The smell reminds me of a after one really bad frat, frat party, but worse. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Honestly, what the, like you're you're you might get mad at your brain for bringing certain words to your attention unbidden, but just floating across your mind is like month old hamburger, like just. For whatever reason, it's, that that was one of the bad parts about that frat party. Lillian decided to look in the frat house's fridge, <laughs> <laughs> and there is a month-old hamburger. Rookie mistake. It just fridge. slowly closes the fridge again. Hey, uh, Lillian, I, you how you doing? That was rough. Where's this? Where's this cop car? Has this cop car passed us and gone? Yeah, it, on yeah. With Lewis, Lewis, Lewis reported back that it had gone on. 
Oh, okay. Then I'm going to let um, Jenny know to blacklight the USB. Yep. yep. Yeah, they on it. Louis, you... you shine blacklight on the USB, and it's just like a it's just like a micro dot that shows up. Um, it's not like the FBC symbol, but it does seem like it's something that was marked specifically to stand out to someone who was already scanning the area with a black light. Right. Okay. Any anything on my on that video, by the way? Anything like that? Um oddly you're looking back at it and you know you got good shots of the ghoul. But now that the ghoul is dead, it just look the video just shows a person that was just attacking, doing all the same things like launching himself at Virginia, attacking, grabbing to bite. But like the the video footage seems to have been altered with the death of the ghoul to show like what looks like a ragged homeless person. Uh, uh, we we have um. Maybe another issue, um, Kathleen. Uh, you're you're taking more pictures. Um, what are the pictures of the? What what is the uh, FBC term for a uh, an entity affected by an AWE? Um. Uh, the, the, the term changes for uh, the term changes. most of the time. They use whatever the proper noun for it is. Um, it, Lewis might not know what the proper noun for this thing is right now, so yeah, you I, might I, say there, entity. Generic, it, it just generic term is entity. Entity, yeah. Okay. Um, it, entity so, is a nice uh, neutral on sentience uh, term. <laughs> um, Lewis is looking for nice and neutral right now, so that works well. Um, uh, 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 Kathleen, can you take a look at uh, the pictures or, or any video that you have of the entity? Because it's not showing up as uh, what I'm seeing here. Okay, maybe we should start there. Did ev is everybody seeing sort of a... Um, uh, I feel I'm like gonna I'm gonna look through the photos and I'm gonna fill in for Lewis and say, it's a ghoul. Okay, ghoul, I, that's okay, ghoul. What do I see in the photos? Uh, in the photos of the ghoul? Uh, uh, I the, took photos the... of the corpse. Of, of the which sorry which the, corpse the dead ghoul the, the ghoul, ghoul. wants yeah, yeah. i took pictures of both corpses but specifically yeah, yeah. i'm looking at the ghoul right now in the analog photos it looks like a ghoul in the digital photos it does it looks like a like it was a person until it got double tapped to hell <laughs> um it's a digital problem um is Okay. Are there any identifying features on this alleged person? Not that are left. Uh, I'm going to come peek over Lewis's shoulder at his footage. Are there identifying features in that one? Not, I mean, not strongly. Not nothing that stands out as unique. Uh, balding black hair, extremely emaciated fucked up teeth uh, looks like he's high on bath salts sort of thing so not necessarily a traceable person no I wonder if it's a defense mechanism I mean there's definitely something out here seems to be affecting at least digital recording because I again there were entities in, in the fog, in my footage of the fog, that were moving in the recording. Recordings are changing. I'd like to go back and take some more surprising. analog photos of that then. That's another thing to do when we go back and visit the fog. Um, okay. I, we have to be careful, though, because I think we should avoid direct entity contact. I mean you know, any more than and Lewis takes a moment sort of gesturing towards the, the ghoul and the dead Smith presumably, and has to visibly stop himself from vomiting. So, 
And as you all sit here in the aftermath of your first encounter with uh, some other otherworldly creature uh, and you're discovering the remains of your contact, uh, that's where we're going to end for the week. So uh, oh. say goodbye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Goodbye.